to that, uh, I got the information from from industry that your hiring process is very very non traditional. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't really care about degrees or big schools and stuff, but you. Uh, I wouldn't say we don't care about them. Yeah. It's uh, the way I think about people when I'm building businesses is you can't build a successful business without having the best of the people. Yeah. Um, now, how do you identify the best of the people? In in our, our hiring process, a non-traditional from the perspective that we put in a lot of effort up front because we want to make sure that the person is the right fit, both for us and that person, the that person individual, side. right? So if let's say we are hiring somebody and she or he might basically be better at something else as compared to what we are hiring her for or him for, uh, the it's not just bad for us, it's bad for that person because they may not grow as much with us then uh, as they would otherwise. So I think fitment is important, but at the same time, we do a lot of testing uh, on skills in the ability to do some the task at hand as compared to the theoretical degree that you hold is far more important to us. Uh, we, while, you know, the, the degree helps us kind of shortlist resumes when you uh, you know, when you get as many applicants, uh, what we try and do as in as many instances as possible is come up with processes that don't care about um, the theory or, or what's on you know what's written on a paper in terms of what you've done as compared to your practical knowledge. So, for example, we run um, uh, especially in engineering, we run programming contests mm. all around the country, which anyone can participate in. Uh, and you know, if you are you know, you may basically have never gone to school, uh, but you know, if you're really good at what you do and you basically show that in winning the contest or, uh, or, or ranking somewhere in the contest that is high, then we know you're good at that task and we'll basically, uh, uh, you know, uh, we'll make sure that we get you. In fact, I've seen that throughout my career for sure. For example, in media.net, our CEO, uh, I think he, basically studied till his 11th standard <laughs> and then dropped out. And he is uh, the CEO of a multi-billion dollar organization. But at the same time, if you look at his career, I mean, when he dropped out, he didn't drop out and do nothing. He started working when he was that young. Uh, and he was the uh, youngest CISSP in the world uh, at the age of 17. So very smart technically, but you know, obviously didn't follow the, the normal path. Uh, at the same time, there are lots of people that we hire from the IITs and the IIMs and the ISBs uh, across our organization. So I'm not saying that degree is a bad thing, it's a great thing. Uh, I mean, learn however you want to learn, whether you learn through a formal process uh, and you, you know, uh, or you learn through an informal process. At the end of the day, it's your knowledge and skill level that makes a difference. And not just your knowledge and skill level, but also how you apply it, right? Because that's another thing that we test for uh, significantly because we found that many people may know something or may have learned something in a structural form, but when they actually go to apply it, they don't do as much. In, in we found that it is a little more difficult to test for, but we've over time evolved a lot of processes to try and people find people that can get stuff done and that's a lot more important for us as compared to just having the knowledge because if you don't get stuff done it doesn't matter how smart you are it is no use of to the business itself